and it finally arrived. This is my 1 16th scale Challenger 2 tank from Henlong. And without further ado, let's get it open. All right, so here we are at the front of the box. As you can see, we have the title of the tank, British Challenger 2, 1 16th scale main battle tank. And what I really like about these new headlong boxes is that they have the design schematics here, the nice big one, and they have a little faint one here. And then up in the corner, you have a top-down view of the Challenger as well. Here on the back of the tank, you have a more interesting schematic, such as the stowage for the two-piece ammunition, the gunner, commander's seat, driver's seat, anything else you could possibly want to know about the Challenger, as well as a little bit of service history. Here on the top of the box, you can see that it comes with a nice carrying handle, and here are the functions of the tank. And a couple of other functions, such as fully independent suspension, smoking, BB bullets, flashing lights, uh, gun barrel up and down, and uh, sound. Here you've got a little instruction manual for the remote and the TK um, tank board. We'll read that later. Well, up comes the tank. If I can get it. Well, it's a good thing we opened the other side. Up comes the tank. Ooh. Now, this is your Challenger 2 main manual. And I will admit this one looks. It looks thicker, because there's two of them in here. Anyway. And in the time I mentioned, this actually comes from two-can hobbies. Um, not sponsored, but I do like them because they sell the plastic versions of these things. Which I'll talk about when I like plastic versions later. You've got your accessories pack. So this is like fuel tanks, uh, optics, and a bunch of other things. You've got your cheapo plastic little charger. Infrared sensor. Oh, and this is this is actually a plastic bottle with a dropper for the smoker, which is much fancier than the usual bottle, which is usually just a little plastic thing. Your standard six millimeter BBs. One of these small batteries. Now it's surprising, these are smaller than the older batteries that they used to use, but they still last just as long. These are additional tank accessories. You can tell that this tank has a lot of accessories. One, because the manual is thicker, and two, because all the accessories doesn't fit in this one box. We've got this box of accessories, this little bag of accessories, and then back here you have more accessories. And there it is. All right, so here it is out of the box, and first impressions are pretty good. The paint scheme seems all right. There's a little bit of uh, <laughs> dirtiness from the container, but other than that, yeah, this model looks fancy. Then all that's left to do is put on these accessories and these accessories and these accessories. All right, and here is your remote. You've got your stop start button, volume, smoke, and then you can also change the sound on this one. So we'll go ahead and press this unlock button. So 
this strip right here controls your forward, backwards, left, and right. And then on the left stick, you control your turret controls. Left, right, gun up, and gun down. To fire the BBs on this tank, you press both of these top buttons. And then just to fire the machine gun, you do the left one. Down here, you got your volume control, so you can make it louder all the way to silent. Or you can press this button for smoke. Although it's hard to see here, the smoke actually does come out of the same exact exhaust ports as on the real tank. And you fill up the smoke using this small port right here. Here we can see the underside of the tank, and I was pleasantly surprised to find that the suspension components under here are actually metal. Under here, you'll also find the on-off switch, which is located on the back of the tank on this model, as well as the battery case right here. All right, and here we are at the shooting range. I've, of course, brought the Challenger 2 and a smaller Henlong Stug 3 to compare the airsoft guns. Both tanks will shoot the same target from the same distance. All right, here we are with the Challenger 2. All right, and here we are with the Stug. The infrared system just clips in on the top and is magnetized. All right, we'll have a quick cup of tea and then we'll take the tank out. Milk first, of course. This also does provide a pretty good sense of scale.
Uh, the tank is very maneuverable and is one of the only tanks, since it is a modern tank, that looks appropriate going at full speed. The tank is very long, measuring in at an impressive 2.5 feet or 73 centimeters. The longest tank by far that I have in the collection. The tank also comes with the best suspension that I have seen on any of these Henlon tanks. 